This is Coyote News. The Coyote basketball teams are midway through their conference season. Coyote News' Alex Kleinschmidt is live in the muck with the Volant Sports Editor to find out how the rest of the season plays out. Alex? Thank you, Myra. I'm back with Trevin Ricklick. So, Trevin, how do you think the basketball teams have performed so far this season? Um, I think they've performed pretty well. Um, I think there's some things they can kind of clean up, you know, some of the turnovers, just those easy things that, you know, you can clean up as a team that will get you a little bit higher. But so far we're pretty early in the season and we're kind of right where we kind of thought we would be. So just picking up a couple of wins, trying to move up in the standings. Do you think their performance so far has affected their attitude at all during games? Um, I, I think it definitely does. You know, you kind of shift throughout the game, and you can see that on the court sometimes. Some teams get frustrated out there if they can't get things going for them. And so I think it just it depends on your team. It depends on how you respond. And I think it all ultimately depends on your coaching staff. Um, saying that culture in there, in the locker room, is very important. And I think that the culture here at USD is really good, and it's shown throughout the last week. Do you think that they'll have a chance to turn it around for the better in the rest of the season? I definitely think they do. Uh, at the start of Summit League play here, the women's and men's team both had quite a tough schedule to start out their first five games so far. So I think they can turn it around with a couple of easier games coming up on the schedule. And I think better times are to come. Thank you so much. Live in the muck for Coyote News Sports, I'm Alex Kleinschmidt. Thanks, Alex. There are five home games left in the season for the men and six for the women.